Hello, getting back to the discussion of the PCMs, the main computer. Think of it as the main computer, the PCM, talking to the BCM, the body control module. They are always communicating to each other. Think of it as one thing. This powertrain control module we spoke about before, these are the pins. See the pins that are connected to it? See this little triangle over here? Uh, um, this is pin 20, this is pin 19, this is pin 58, 59, and so on and so on and so on, 50, 46, 61. It's not uncommon to have multiple voltages going to the powertrain control module. You're not going to have only one B+. Plus. You might have two, three of them. After all, there are more circuits in here that you don't see. There might be other modules in here that you don't see. That's why we have to feed so many of them. Let's look at this one, for example. <clears throat> see, we are called the, the PCM. If you look at this, it's called the PCM over here. But the fuse, if you look for the fuse, <clears throat> you might get confused. Because what does the fuse say? It says ECM. It doesn't say PCM. This is engine control module. The other one is the powertrain control module. But look where it's going. That's why when you see fuses, sometimes you can't go literally directly by the what it says on the fuse. That's what it's that what it's going for. Like this example. So this is 20 amps coming from the ignition switch. As you can see over here, let's go over here. This is here. Here's current flowing. Okay, 20 amps. Let's say it's 15 amps going in here. Going in here. And guess what's going to? Battery positive voltage. So therefore, how much should be over here? If there's 12 volts here through the fuse, there should be 12 volts here. Now let's look at this one, ignition voltage. I look at it and I say, I don't know what that is. Let's see where it's connected to. Guess what? Connected to 15 amps. This one was how much? 20 amps. This is 15 amps. So whatever is connected to this part of the circuit will draw more current. Could be more, could be more chips. Could be more transistors, could be more modules. We don't know, but that's not our concern. This one over here, the same idea. Current flows in this direction, let's say, okay? In this direction. In this direction. Until it gets to pin 19. And how much will pin 19 be? 12 volts here, 12 volts. Do I lose any voltage through a wire? No. No. So this will also be 12 volts. So here's a way to figure it out. Even if you're not familiar with schematics or anything like that, look where it's connected to. You know the fuse coming from the ignition switch has to be 12 volts. You know you don't lose any voltage. 12 volts. You know you don't lose any voltage through it, so this would also be 12 volts. You know you don't lose any voltage through this pink wire, right? So all along this wire if you would put an insert in it with a probe anywhere along this wire should get how much 12 volts anywhere along this wire up to pin 19 so these two are 12 volts so so far this powertrain control module needs at least a minimum of two pins having uh, 12 volts on them and we just figured out how so remember ECM PCM VCM also it's called ECU different different identifications for the same purpose the same uh, main computer board okay now you pay attention to where it's connected to 20, 20 volts we said uh, tw pin 20 is 12 volts pin 19 is also 12 volts now let's say there will be a problem you always pay attention to what's the nearest pin next to it why let's say you have a problem powertrain control module no communications to it you're looking for 12 for, for 12 volts what's the first thing you're going to do i have no communications i put it in i put in a scan tool it tells me no communications nothing all right I'm going to go and f look at the schematic. It's going to tell me pin 20, pin 19 is 12 volts for sure. Let's say pin 21, which is not in this picture. 
21 pin is a ground. Let's say this one over here. This one, since it's next to the to this one, and it's in a, in a harness wire, right? Let's say this one, the insulation came off. So now you have the conductor being exposed. But where do you have being exposed to? The nearest wire next to it. What's the nearest wire next to it? Well, you have one over here that's 19. So even if this is exposed 12 volts, it'll go to another 12 volts. It won't blow the fuse okay unless you have uh more current being drained from this one but we're going for a simple case what will probably blow the fuse a shorter ground where is the ground coming from it's not coming from 19 right this is 12 volts we look at the next pin 21 pin 21 is going to ground so this wire that's exposed that's bare let's say it's bare over here at this point, whatever it is, is bare. The conductor is sticking out. It might touch the ground that's over here. Therefore, that would blow the, the, the fuse on this PCM. Can you just live with one fuse? It depends where what circuits are connected to this. Therefore, you might lose communications through the PCM. Again, always pay attention where... Can, I, can, it, can this 12 volts find a ground path? Okay? All right? Let's say ground would be at pin 2. Okay? It's unlikely that it will find the ground path to 2 if that wire is far away from it. Usually, they're, they're together, obviously. The wires together with the pins are together and they are shielded together. So therefore, it's a good idea that maybe this will find a, gr a ground path from anything. If 19 was a ground, it might find 20 might find a ground through this one. Anyway, that's just an idea of how to do things. But anyway, always keep this in mind about the powertrain control module. This, this you have to have this. This powertrain control module, or ECU, whatever you want to call it, is in charge of the relays, in charge of starters, and starter fuel pumps that I've been saying, solenoids, transmission, everything. Just because you have a problem with transmission, might be something with the engine. Maybe you're, you're going into lip mode, or the computer is controlling the, the engine to give less of uh, uh, horsepower, less fuel, anything is possible. That's why you need a scanner. But anyway, I don't want to go too deep into it. Just keep this in mind because of the questions that I received. 25 years ago, it was simple. Distributor, starter, battery. It's not like that today. Not at all. Everything is controlled by computer. Your car is started up by your computer. Your car it is... It, um, is controlled in every facet of life by the computer. That's unfortunately that's how we. You can have twenty, thirty modules. Your air conditioning can be controlled by a computer. Your fan blower can be controlled by a computer, by a module. This is how it is. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Please, please my uh, uh, channel, Joe Trans Commands for Auto. The day will come hopefully when I do hands on, and I will show you. And you will understand it much, much more than you understand all these schematics, the theory of it. We have to do the practical. That day will come. But anyway, thanks for watching.